We're now in section 17 of our AutoCAD Electrical 2015 course. So as per the normal standards for working files, we have a Demo 17 project. I'm in the Schematic subfolder, and if I scroll down, you can see here that I've got Demo 35 drawing open. It's an entirely new blank drawing in the Schematic subfolder for you. The reason we've done that is we're looking at Programmable Logic Controllers, or PLCs. And what we're going to be doing is bringing PLCs into this new blank drawing. There's two types of PLCs that you can use on AutoCAD electrical drawings. The first one, which we're going to look at now, which is the parametric method of bringing a PLC into the drawing. So you go up to the schematic tab on the ribbon, click on this flyout here in the insert components panel and click on insert PLC parametric. And as you can see there, it inserts a parametrically generated PLC input output module. So I click there and now I can select what I want to bring into the drawing. So I'm just going to minimize so that you can see all the numbers there. I'm going to go for a 1761 MicroLogix 10. Now it's looked all of these up in the catalog files that are provided with this particular project in AutoCAD Electrical. So let's have a look at a MicroLogix L10. It's got 10 input output points. I'm just going to go for the top one. And then the graphics style I can select here. Depends on what style you want to use. I'm going to go for style number two. That's normally my preferred one. I'm going to go for a vertical module. You can also specify a horizontal module. The scale is one in this case. And the reason it's one is because I'm working to JIC Imperial Standards. And I know that this particular module will come in in inches as well. So if I click on OK now, there's my parametric module there. Now it's just an outline at the moment. When I click, you'll see lots of things come up on the screen, including module layout. Now the spacing is 0.75 inches between each input output point. I'm going to insert all of them, and I can allow spaces or breaks if I want to. In this case, I'm not going to, and I'm going to just click on OK now. It now asks for the number of the first module. So I'm going to put a number in there, 1000. Click on OK. Now it'll ask me for the beginning address. There's some quick picks there. So I'm going to start with that one there. Click on OK. And you'll see it parametrically put all of this information in. So it now needs the output point there as well. Click on OK again. And all of that goes in. If I zoom in now and just pan down a bit, you can see module 1000. There's the number that I put in. And there's all the input output points for that parametric PLC that I've just brought into my AutoCAD electrical drawing.